Thank you very much for joining us. I didn't tell you because I wanted it to be a surprise, but we've got a legend in studio today. You will be able to join him. We're talking rugby later on today. I know you enjoy watching the rugby sevens. You enjoy the commentators saying all the things they are saying, but you probably have never seen them this close as you will today, right here in the studio for us. I am Bernardo Tieno. I'm in the company of the cool kid, Ken Shege. He's Baba, the happiest man around this time because he gets to pay a lot more for a shave. Although you shave a lot less. Less I, I, on the I, head. I, I told you I pay him to look for hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good job then. And I am uh, with James Wakabi as well. It's good to see you, James, especially after you are... Um, we heard the stories of what you did in Kakamega, but we are happy that you left a, a, a lasting impression on the people in Kakamega. I mean, if you travel to Ingo, you've got to enjoy the delicacies that come with it. That's what I was talking Kakamega about. What, what you did to the chicken uh, can only be talked about by the people who know what you did. Beautiful town, beautiful people, good food, great atmosphere. Okay, okay. And okay. Yes, the town where our legend comes from, by the way. That's his hometown. All right. The, yes. Tonight's legend as well. Yes. Okay, we'll That's be visiting hometown. that as well. <laughs> great, but we have things to talk about as well. I am at Bernard underscore sports, uh, at K Chege underscore sports, at J Wokabi. Let's talk about some things that are going on. The AFCON semifinals. They're here. The second semifinal should be getting on right now. But we had the first one as well. You remember what happened in that? Yes, I did. Uh, that was Senegal playing Burkina Faso. And uh, it looked as if it would, could go either way. Uh, until the 70th minute. And the tables just turned. I think it's what you call doing, uh, uh, finishing your business at the tail end. Yeah, of yeah. The, uh, well, you could put it yeah. as the business end of things. The business end of things, uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, yes. not the tail, yeah. And, and so and, they and, just and, managed and, to finish it at that yeah, time. Yeah, and, and Senegal very quickly scored two goals and, you know... How did it turn? 3-1? Did it turn? It turned 3-1. 3-1. But, so but a, a, a good game to watch, I okay. must say. A good game to watch. A good game to watch. Yes. And then we've got another one coming up again. Now, this, in my opinion, James, is the final before the final. Well, These are the two most successful clubs in the tournament's history. You could say that. I mean, you've got Egypt, who've won this uh, the most times from an African perspective. You've got Cameroon, winners in 2017, playing at home with the whole fan backing from them. And even just the talk up to it had a lot of interest. Vincent Abubakar coming out and saying, hey, we know Mo Salah, but I don't think he's that great. Yeah, he scores goals, <laughs> but I'm not quite sure. So that's already been talking him down, there. isn't it? Yeah. Yes, and then of course there's another point, which is the, the Egyptians don't like the ref who's refing tonight, okay. uh, Bakari Gassama. They say every time he refs, things don't go but their way. But they have to create some drama. You know, the Egyptians will create a destructive drama all the time. It's part of the action. If you watched Morocco versus Egypt, Bernard, you are spot on. That's exactly what they did. That game was so stop start It had fights within the game, in the pitch, on the stands, within members of the press. And it's just that thing you're saying. It's that thing between they the Maghreb nations. Have to create a they find something. But we must give it to them. They beat Morocco 2-1. That was a game of, 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 of uh, you know, bitter neighboring rivals. Yes. Uh, two uh, North African teams playing together.